12 species of juniper trees and shrubs. The alligator juniper is named for its distinctive bark that resembles the rough, checkered skin of an alligator. This species can either be a shrub or tree depending on the growing location and conditions. Other common names include checkerbark juniper, oak bark juniper, thick bark juniper, western juniper, and mountain cedar. This is a good plant for dry, rocky conditions. McFetter is the most common cultivar used in landscapes, it is used in hedges or for buffer screening. This juniper is usually found as a large shrub in the southwest, though it can sometimes grow to be a medium-sized tree in the wild. It features scale-like blue-gray leaves and reddish-brown cones. In landscaping, it is used to create wildlife habitats and in drought-tolerant gardening. It is very tolerant of alkaline soils and is often used to provide erosion control on dry slopes. It is also often used in bonsai. The city of Cedar City, Utah, and Cedar Breaks National Monument got their names because of these shrubby trees, which grow abundantly in Utah and do well in its alkaline soils. You can also find this juniper growing in Arizona and other areas of the western U.S., where it may be known as bigberry juniper or desert juniper. This tree has foliage that is a lighter yellow-green than what is typical of junipers. The mature foliage is scale-like, and the cone fruit is bluish-brown. The stems and branches are quite thick, and the gray-brown bark may exfoliate in thin strips. The western juniper, also known as the Sierra juniper, provides food for a variety of wildlife throughout the year, especially birds such as cedar waxwings that feast on the berries. The wood was used for many different tasks during the pioneer era. This plant generally grows as a large shrub or small tree, with its growth habit determined largely by the conditions in which it grows. It is widely distributed in the wild but is rarely planted as a landscape specimen. One variety of the Chinese juniper, Toroloso, is known as the Hollywood juniper. As it matures it creates an intriguing twisted form that works well as a specimen plant. There are many other varieties composed of different shapes and colors. The leaves on Chinese juniper are needle-like when the plants are young, but assume the shape of scales as the plant matures. This is one of the junipers with good tolerance for urban conditions, but it does not like wet soils. As the name suggests, this juniper shrub is commonly found throughout much of the world. It grows well in both alkaline and acidic soils, as well as adapting to many locations, such as windy sites. This plant can take many forms depending on its environment. Some cultivars are low-growing shrubs suitable for use as ground covers, while the species form may take the form of small upright trees. This is a rare juniper that has needle-like leaves, rather than scales. Creeping juniper lives up to its name and works well as a ground cover. It is very adaptable and can handle many different soils and situations. The leaves begin needle-like but become scales when the plants mature. The cones are blue-white berries with a waxy coating. There are more than 100 cultivars of this plant available, including varieties with yellow foliage. Regionally, this plant may be also be known as trailing juniper or creeping savin juniper. Drooping juniper gets its name because of the way that the branchlets droop down. As juveniles, these upright trees have needle-like leaves that become flattened scales in the mature plants. This tree has a reddish-brown or gray bark that sheds in strips and the cones are greenish berries that mature into purplish-brown. Red cedar is a form of juniper that is especially fragrant, a quality that is sometimes used to repel insects. The wood is often used in cedar chests. This is an upright tree with dark blue-green scale-like foliage. The bark is gray to reddish-brown and often shreds in vertical strips. The trunk is sometimes fluted at the bottom. It is used as a specimen tree or in large screen plantings. Do not plant this tree near apple trees, as it is a host to cedar apple rust fungus. Unlike many junipers, this tree has a fairly good tolerance for moisture, though it does not like to soak in boggy soil. The Greek juniper is a large shrub or tree that is often found growing alongside the stinking juniper, Juniperus fetidissima, a species with a similar appearance but which is lighter green. These hardy trees can even grow on the sides of rocky cliffs. Like many junipers, the leaves and juvenile Greek junipers are needles that become flattened scales as the tree matures. 
The foliage is gray-green, and the trunks can be quite massive, up to 6 feet in diameter. The cones on female trees are purple-blue berries. This juniper species is a large shrub or tree that usually has multiple stems with a dense rounded crown. The leaves on mature plants are flattened scales, and the cones are dark blue berries with a waxy white coating. The bark is gray-brown, shedding in narrow vertical strips that expose reddish wood underneath. The plant gets its name because the cone berry typically contains just one seed. Other common names include single seed juniper and cherry stone juniper. This tree is now quite rare over much of its native territory in Mexico, but it is very common in New Mexico and other portions of the U.S. Southwest. This plant is rarely planted as a landscape specimen, but the wood is often used for fence posts and other purposes. This is a close relative to the eastern red cedar, and it is sometimes known as the mountain red cedar, rocky mountain cedar, or Colorado red cedar. The Rocky Mountain Juniper is a small to medium-sized tree that usually grows a pyramidal shape. The leaves are scale-like in the mature trees, and the cones are the familiar blue-green berries with waxy white coating found in many junipers. Skyrocket is an especially narrow variety that is bluish-green. This is one of the juniper species that is particularly susceptible to cedar apple rust. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.